All right, so today we're going to talk about tagging and comments in Windows 10. I know a lot of people have asked about Windows 10, and it is a little bit different in Windows 10 versus Windows 7 or Windows 8. So what I have here is a Windows 10 computer, and as you can see, some photos of my trip to the Arlington National Cemetery. Now, if you see the photos like this, the easiest thing to do is go up here to the View button, and you want to view details. That way you see the tags. You're going to then click on a file, and you're going to right-click on it, and you're going to go to Properties, kind of the same way we did in Windows 7, except here you're usually going to start out on the General tab. You want to jump to the Details tab, and as you see here, I have it highlighted already, but if you wanted to title this, I could title it Arlington National Cemetery. All right, and then that's going to stay there. And that's just, this is just going to be a DC trip for Find a Grave. Because that's what I did. I went to DC and I went to Arlington National Cemetery and I took a bunch of photos for Find a Grave. And of course, you want to make sure you're capitalizing everything properly. Now, I could rate the, the photo if I really thought it was a great photo. I don't usually play with the ratings. I leave those alone. But you can use that to find different things. Say, if you're doing genealogy, you could do, you know, your mother's line, your father's line, your grandmother's line, your grandfather's line, or your line, parents' line, and then grandparents' line. However you want to do it, you can use the tags if you want or the, excuse me, the ratings if you want. I personally don't use them. The next box is the tags. If you click there, you see it says add, add a tag. So I'll type in cemetery, comma. Okay, it gives you the semicolon. So the sum, or the, yep. And then you're going to click away from that. It'll give you another tag. And I'll type Arlington. And then I'll click over and... We'll call it signage, S-I-G-E, signage. And if I remember the date or I know the date, I can put in the date of the photo. And these photos were taken in 2016. Now I can click down to my comments. And if I were to, say, have taken this photo from some source online, I could type my source information in here. Source info taken by whoever it was, and it would be me, in whenever it was in 2016 on a trip in March. So, again, the comments can be anything you want. What I do with a lot of photos, especially if they're images of a document versus just a photo that I have taken. So, if it's an image of a document, I will actually copy the source information and paste it in here. That way, it will always stay with this file. And so, if I lose everything in my legacy program, but I still have all my photos... I can quickly look my pull up my photo. I can look in the comment section and it's going to tell me where I got the photo or where I got the image so that I can recreate the source for that image whenever I need to. Now, if it's a photo you've taken, a lot of information is going to be buried in this metadata, which is further down here. We'll go over that quickly. Um, but any comments that you want to make, you can type in the comments box. Know that the comments are not usually searchable. However, your tags are searchable. So we'll go ahead and just stop that there and come out of it and it's there. Now I want to, as you start making changes, you want to hit your apply button as every so often because that's what saves it. And if we look up here in the tags, I'll spread this out a little bit. 
look at there there is all of my tags now I can pick more up here so I can right click and I can click on more and I can go down so I see what everything is that I've put in here I want to see my comments again it's in this line where the name the date the type the size the tags you hit that drop down that's going to allow you to filter we'll stop that but if you go right after the last one and you can see there's a little line there and you just right click you can pick whatever you want say you were rating it you could pull your ratings up on there as well now you're going to see that so there it is everything on this photo so if I wanted to search and let's just say I want to search for Arlington All right and we'll go to view and we'll go to the details and there you see my Arlington is highlighted now it's pulling everything else because it's in the Arlington cemetery folder so let's change this and let's just call it signage s-i-g-n-a-g-e and let's see what it pulls ah see it only pulled one only pulled the one that has the signage link on it or the signage tag on it so I don't have to name this file anything I can leave it named as this if I want to find all of the signage in this folder or even in where all my files are at all I have to do is type in signage and notice I'm using a lowercase s and there's an uppercase s here it is not case sensitive and it pulls that file now if I typed in 2016 it's going to pull up the file and it's going to highlight where that tag is at now if this file had the name 2016 or all of these did just like it all came out of the Arlington Cemetery folder and I typed in 2016 any folder with or any file with the name of tw with 2016 in the name is going to show up and maybe that's not what I'm searching for so when you name your files be very basic doesn't have to be a lot you want to put all of your details in your tags and that way the tags will always be searchable and you can pull them up so what I always do is I go as basic as I can like last name first name maybe the date of birth and then what this what the document is so it would be um, DB Linda 19 XX I'm not re revealing my age at this point 19 XX um, and then it will say birth certificate dot jpg that's going to be a copy of my birth certificate if i had a marriage certificate it would be db linda 19xx whenever i got married and then marriage certificate now in the tags on my marriage certificate i could list my husband's name the year the place so i say in the tags do the who what when where why and how all the details in one to two word increments for your tags so don't put you know born in 19 xx you would just put 19 xx or dob 19 xx um, but that again remember is going to be over here in your file name so you don't have it's in your file name you don't have to put it in your tags but for a marriage certificate I could list my husband's name where we got married when we got married the name of the church any pertinent information about the wedding in, that i would think that i might want to search on so if i ever wanted to pull up files on my husband i would type in his name up here and it's going to pull anywhere where i had his name and tags and also any files that have been named with his name all right so let's go back over here and look at these properties that we see in this window now if you know who took the picture you can just put that in the author's name you don't have to um, 
That's just another spot that you can fill out. And then if you know the copyright of it or the date you acquired it, that's kind of all part of your source. You can input that information. This under image is going to tell you when this picture was taken, all of the settings on the camera. So this is what most people refer to as their metadata. So as you can see, I took this picture with a Sony um, 6000. Um, it tells you what my f-stop was, uh, exposure time, ISO. This is all for, for photography nerds. You don't need to worry about any of this information. It's buried in the picture when you take a digital picture, so it will always stay there. Um, some advanced photo information. You don't really need to worry about any of that. Then down here, it tells you what the file name is what type it is, where it's stored, the date I created it, the date I modified it, what the size of it is, if it's available offline, and it tells you the owner and the computer. All that we don't need to worry about. What we're worrying about right now is under the description to enter our tags and our comments so we will always know what the details are of each image and it helps keep our file names short. So hopefully this helps you if you now have a Windows 10 computer and you've just migrated over from a Windows 7 or 8. If you do have Windows 7 or 8, by all means, check the YouTube channel for the tagging and comments video that I did for Windows 8. I will go back in and rename that so that it does say Windows 7 and 8. And I will name this one for Windows 10. I hope you guys have a great evening and thanks for watching. This is Linda. Good night.